Hi, Dawson Chen. I'm here with Julian Revan, our Lady of the Movies, and Vincent Georgi, Executive Director of the Windsor International Film Festival. We're here to talk about the 2015 edition of the festival starting up this Tuesday, November 3rd. We're talking six days of screenings, 90 films in total, 137 screenings. It's an incredible experience. Vincent, let's talk about this. You mentioned previously that this is a riskier, edgier lineup than in previous festivals. What did you mean by that? Yeah, it definitely is an edgy festival. I think film festivals are an opportunity for people to take risks, to watch some stuff they normally wouldn't get a chance to see, mm -hmm. and maybe push the envelope a little bit in what their comfort zone is going to be. So when I think of us showing a film, let's say like the Stanford Prison Experiment, uh, that's a really, really cool film and you know fairly edgy, based on a true story, um, but it, it's a fairly intense movie watching experience. I think that's an interesting choice. When I think of something like Goodnight Mom, maybe Austrian film that's a, you know playing at midnight, it's a real thriller of sorts. That's a film that I think takes a lot of risks and it's for a certain audience. Um, on the flip side, if we, if we look to a film, say, like The Mask, Eyes of Hell, uh, it's considered Canada's first horror movie. It's a film we brought back from the 1960s. We'll be doing old school 3D glasses, and that's a bit of a risk as well in terms of, of watching, again, a seminal Canadian horror flick. I think that that's going to be, I think, quite special. So it's basically got everything for people's tastes. We've yeah, got, definitely. We've got drama, intense drama. We've got thriller, horror, comedy, Documentary, action. foreign film. The subtitled films. Mm -hmm. So, Julian, you're an old hand of this sort of thing. You're a veteran of festivals. What sort of tips and advice would you give people <laughs> who are watching this? Oh, um, wear comfortable clothing. Um, don't wear anything too tight. Wear comfortable pants so you can slouch in your chair and get comfortable. Um, I suggest going on your first day, going uh, with a full stomach. Make sure you've eaten because plans always change. So let's say you go there with the intention of seeing, okay, one film in the morning, and then you look at the schedule and you realize, oh, there's two other films showing the same day. So you might end up seeing two, three, even four films in one day which can be pretty exhausting, but I know people have done it because there are die-hard movie lovers out there. So wear comfortable clothing, uh, bring a pillow if you can. I know this sounds hilarious. Pillows people, are good. Pillows people are good. like to get comfortable in their chairs. Bring a pillow so you don't have a sore back. Uh, make sure you've eaten. Uh, make sure be before you go, you've done your research. Take a look at our, the program that's available at the box office at the corner of University and Polister. Polister same building as the Capitol. Um, do your research either in the program or online. Take a look at what you want to see. I'm in the process of doing that right now and I'm finding there's a movie I want to see all day, every day, Tuesday to Sunday, but then there's, I, I have to just arrange my schedule. Just, that's the advice I give you is just comfortable clothing, make sure you've eaten, um, bring snacks too, and um, Make sure you figure out your schedule. So That's you where it's all it. going down, by the way, folks. Capitol Theater, 121 University Avenue West. The first screening is at Tuesday at 9 a.m. The last screening is on Sunday, November 8th at 10, 10 p.m. So basically, non-stop screenings all day for six days. Yeah. What does it take to organize something like that? It takes a whole load of manpower. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, it takes about 200 volunteers to put on the festival. Uh, we're talking overall a couple thousand volunteer hours just for the main festival. And then our board of directors and main team work on the festival 12 months a year. It, it's a full year-round operation. You have to keep planning and working on stuff because it really is. To put on this size of festival, uh, you've got to be working on it all year-round. There's no question. All this effort to bring you the best in Cinema Windsor. you got to appreciate it. So it's $14 for adult tickets for each screen. Yeah and $9 for students, right? Yes. But there's also an option of getting a six-day pass that'll get you into every screen. Yeah. How much is that? That's $140 for adults or $65 for students. That is a real money saver, no question also. For those people that want to see a lot of stuff, it's like getting a pass to go to a buffet and just eat and eat and eat. Mm -hmm. Last year, if you can imagine, our average pass holder saw 28 movies. Oh my goodness. The record holder, Mike Rogers, saw 60 movies. Wow. 60 movies. Our audience loves to binge. They love to go mm -hmm. for it. Like, I want to see this, I want to see this, I want to see this, I want to see that. So by getting that, that pass, you end up saving a lot of money. There's no question. For you end up sleeping see... there? Sorry, yeah. sleeping at the theater? There are, well, there are people, there's always a couple of people that show up in pajama-ish stuff really? that go around. Some people, some people, even on the first day, will walk in with slippers and they're like, I know I'm going to be for six days, I need to be comfortable, you know, ready to go. Blankets, snacks. That's wild. People get right into it. It sounds like a lot of fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. 
And as Julian was saying, if you wanted to research the, some of the films that are being shown yourself, you wanted to see when those screenings are taking place, go to www.windsorfilmfestival.com www.windsorfilmfestival.com You'll find all the information on each screening when it's taking place. Some of these show, movies are having multiple screenings. Absolutely, some of them are playing two and three times, yeah. That's incredible. So with 137 screenings, you can easily be overwhelmed about what movies you want to see. So what we're going to do here is that me, Julian, and Vincent here, each day on the festival, we're going to tell you our pick. One movie that we particularly want to see that day. And until then, we'll see, see you at, at the, the movies. movies.